So, uh, new log just doing some riding and chilling at the beach and like I was just thinking like shit it's fucking mean having this beach so close to where I stay currently and like capitalizing on that you know in the way I have been in the ways I have been it was a good idea like good for business I feel like because it's just so calming and relaxing like soaking up the scenery and enjoying myself the sound of the waves is very hypnotizing to me plus the cool breeze and the temperature it's like solid i really do enjoy having beautiful nature so accessible to me and i think that's super groovy I just want to maybe explore a little bit about, you know, like home is where the heart is and then like the notion of lodging uh, along with accommodation and like how I just said like where I stay, uh, da, da, da. basically it's like interesting to me because yeah, I suppose maybe your home is pretty metaphysical, like a house does not mean a home, I think. And I am like definitely for the family unit. I'm like pro family. I guess I'm a family man to be honest. Like on my birthdays and that, like what friends? Like just family. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like Yeah, hopefully I can have a healthy social life and a healthy sex life, a healthy love life, a healthy night life, you know, just healthier and healthier, I hope. I feel like being hopeful is good and pretty positive in nature, to be honest. And I also feel as though hypnosis and then auto hypnosis plus auto suggestion sense is super awesome. And it's almost as though like magic is that or like, Basically, auto-hypnosis is a form of magic, essentially. When you examine it, it's so closely aligned with psychedelic experiences. And consciousness really makes me think that perhaps linguistics really is fundamental to perceivable reality. And it makes sense that something like auto-suggestion is a way to utilize language in a self-aware way where self may be including reality or perceived reality which makes me want to I guess explore that more like the notion of perceived reality and reality it makes me think of what I was thinking about earlier this morning like value and perceived value I feel like you know getting back to those two types of people maybe the hinderers let's call them like they instead of wanting to let's say like share they want to commodify and lock down and like occlude whereas the natural instinct for someone like me is to share and help and provide value so i feel like being a wealth generator is way better than being a scummy scammer blood-sucking like parasitic leech like literous type behavior to be honest